Hey there, it's Robbie, W1RCP, and today we're going to review the Red Odo 100 amp hour battery. And so this channel is about amateur radio, parks on the air, projects, and I also do all kinds of other stuff. So let's go ahead and check out my YouTube channel. And let me point out a few things that are going on on the YouTube channel. One is if you go to watch a video, and we're, I'm not going to actually make you watch a video here, but if you'll notice, there is a join button. And when you click that join button, I have some perks. If you're the loyal fan at $2.99 a month, you get some badges, some emojis, and sometimes I'll give you a shout out in the video. Then, if you become a fan that wants more, you will get member shout outs absolutely in every video after you join, and photo and status updates which are in the community tab. And if you haven't checked out the community tab, there are some public posts in there already. So then the fan of growth gets all of that and early access to new videos even before I put titles and descriptions. You get priority reply to comments and when I have some merchandise on my website, you also can get a discount for that if you'll just let me know. And in some of those, you can get some outtakes and our outtakes fun. Alrighty, so today's victim is the Redodo 100 amp hour 12.8 volt battery. Younger, bolder, stronger. So I have owned this battery for about nine months now. So it has definitely been put through the paces. And I'm going to show you in just a moment after I show you all this other stuff. If you look down in the description, I have some sponsored links to Amazon things that you might want to complete your purchase of the Red Odo 100 amp hour battery. And that would be the ring terminals, that would be some wire, some zip wire. Zip wire is the wire that is connected so you don't have wires just flying everywhere. And a few other things and we'll go through that right now. I'll take you a tour of the web. But the first thing is this battery just point blank does what it says it does. And there are multiple choices you can choose from. I have uh, two links down in the description. I have one for the 31, and then I have another one for the group 24, which is a little bit smaller. And as you scroll down, you can check out all of the, um, the uh, they're calling it Prime Day sale right now. It's still there. So right now, as, as of the recording, it's $192, which is a fantastic deal for something that delivers. So let's look at some other things. If you want the power pole connectors, so you can get this cheap kit. I have used a similar version of this, and it seems to be fairly compatible with Amazon, or not Amazon, but the Anderson power poles. I haven't had an issue with, with most of these. Some people have, but these are not actual Andersons. So you can get some official Andersons right here. They're about $26.49 for 10 pair. Or if you don't want to risk it, you can buy Anderson power poles direct from uh, Ham Radio Outlet, not sponsored. Um, some of the other ones I can't remember off the top of my head, but you can go ahead and purchase those. But when you buy this battery, you're also going to want a 20 amp hour charger. That way you're not waiting forever for 100 amp hours. When it completely goes, you can charge it in approximately five, five and a half hours. I have a 10 amp hour charger, and so it takes 10 hours to charge, which is annoying. But in another review that we're going to do later on, we're going to, um, this is a hint to a future video, is Timu purchases. I actually have some things that I'm going to, charge my my battery from there so we'll get into that at another time the other thing that you'll see in the next two videos that we're going to watch of testing is this high precision and i'm going to use high precision it's really dang close but you can get these for about 15 bucks slap some power pole connectors on the ends of it connect it in between the source and the load the link is also down there. And again, I do get a little bit of a kickback when you make a purchase from those links. This is that zip wire. This is BN Tech Go. This is some wonderful stuff. 
Now, I do not own this particular version because I'm still running through the stuff that I bought from Ham Radio Outlet like a bazillion years ago. I just bought a whole bunch of it because I love this stuff. And the last thing, you definitely want some heat shrink, and you can see the last purchase. I purchased this October 12th of 2022, almost two years, and I still have a lot of this left over. So the Red Odeo, or it's called Red Odeo, and I have to, I think I was just calling it Redodo, but the Red Odeo battery is um, tested here shortly. We are going to look at the discharge of the battery. So I did a time lapse video of me discharging this. This video is, is, is quite the long video. So we're not going to sit here and watch the entire video. But you can see that under, a, under an extreme load of 2 ohms, it is uh, producing about 6.28 amps. Um, continuously and it runs about 12.8 volts which most rigs are going to enjoy 12.8 volts now if you run qrp this thing's going to last you forever so we're not going to watch this whole video but i am going to fast forward through the rest of it and take you to the about the last 15 seconds my math is a little bit off because it was actually like 65 and a half so i got right at about 98 amp hours out of the battery now if we transition into this i started the charge at 12:50 p.m again this is still a four minute video here but this is charging it and when i was finished charging again if it will let me fast forward through this video uh, give me just a moment to fast forward as we fast forward you can see it charged overnight and then i lost a connection uh, in the dark, and then we might be having some technical difficulties with the video. So, super yay. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> there's, there's definitely 15 minutes of um, blank, blank space in my video. There we go. We found it. So, you can see the only thing about the 150-amp battery monitor is that it rolls over at 65 and a half amp hours or somewhere in there. So it rolled over somewhere in the middle of the night. But when I added everything together, so give me just a moment and we'll get to that point. Maybe, so 65, 65.5 amp hours and then the rollover and it turned out to be right at 98, 98 amp hours. So within 2% of the promised value, that's wonderful. Of course, charging it 98 or charging it uh, 10 amp hours um, is not really, you're supposed to charge these at one fifth of their rating. A one over five C is the recommended charge rate. So um, 20 amp hours is actually the recommended charge rate for, or in the maximum charge rate for this battery. Um, you are gonna see about 98 to 98.5 amp hours after about nine months of use. So being in one and a half to two percent of the promised range, I believe is excellent. So that is my quick review of the Red Odeo battery. I think that everybody that uses high power, um, if you're running 100 watts, this thing will last you at least a day of operating at full power. And that's if you go all day long, digital, CW, if you're doing SSB, if you're doing SSTV, if you're sending emails or doing Aries through, through Winlink or anything like that, this is a great thing to pair with maybe a solar panel and a solar charger so that you have continuous power through that whole emergency. So the reason that I bought this battery was because dang, 100 amp hours, I want that. Um, but the other thing is that I have slowly been incorporating batteries and solar and all that into my go kits for the amateur radio emergency service in case I'm needed, or even at home, if I lose power and wanna continue playing radio, I can. 
And then I also have a generator that sits out in the garage for the more important things, such as the refrigerator. Uh, for, of course, mine is only a 3.5 kilowatt um, <laughs> uh, generator, so it's, it's not going to run the air conditioner. Maybe one day. Alrighty, so I'm Robbie, W1RCP, and as we transition out, 100 amp hours, I don't think you can give me a reason why I don't need it. But in the comments, if you'll try to convince me why I don't need it, go ahead. But if you have something like this, or if you do make a purchase, leave a comment. Let me know what you did. So that'll be really exciting uh, to have some conversation, some discourse back and forth over um, what are we using for parks on the air. You're not dragging this thing for, for soda, so you can forget that. If your summit's on the air, you better go find you something uh, really tiny for some QRP rigs, unless it's a drive-up summit and you're going to drag this battery across the parking lot. Um, when I go camping, I don't have an issue. I carry it in the camper, and there it is. I accidentally sold my, my actual camping power supply to one of the new hams in town, KQ Faux Show. That's KQ 4SHW Austin. I accidentally sold him my power supply to use for his VHF system. Uh, I sold him a VHF radio. This, I went over there, I built him an antenna which is in my channel somewhere. If you look for it, you can find where I'm in the shorts. I built him a little vertical uh, made out of, made out of uh, tape measure. And so I went over to his house and actually made him the right size coax to run from his window, because he hangs it right up in the window, to his rig. Of course, that was to keep his wife happy. And so that there's not just, you know, my wife is not happy because of all the crap that I keep everywhere. You can't see it, but right over here is a honking huge mess of stuff that I just, I'm a hoarder, okay? And I'm different. I am different. So, hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you can support the channel with a like and on this, on this video and subscribe, that'd be awesome. And that way you'll get notifications of my latest uploads when I go live when I remember to go live or when things actually line up that I can go live, that kind of stuff. So, hey, thanks so much. Hope to catch you on the next one. Hope to catch you when I'm doing parks on the air or playing radio. If you're activating and I'm playing radio in the other room over there and can hear you, hope to get you in the log. 73 from W1RCP. Oh, and by the way, there's no credits this time. So I recorded this in one take, mistakes and all.